the more we thought about it, we knocked it around. This film isn't about the moment everyone realized the film, the world was going to end. They already had that. That process has already went through for these characters. You know, the idea of like denial, acceptance, whatever all those moments of like when the tragedy is going to strike you. So I would imagine, you know, I don't. I wouldn't imagine the police out there. I wouldn't imagine the well, the way you saw it is what I imagined. I don't know, you have to make the decisions on who you could be with, who wants to be with you, you know. And then, you know who you want to talk to, who you don't want to talk to. <laughs> who wants to talk to you? I mean, then, you know, then you have the, um, the Skype trip. So, it's like, it's like they're there, but then they're really not there. We're not, um, you know, going to use that kind of high tech, you know, where these films are shot on, you know what I mean, those kind of computer generated, you know, CGI things. I mean, even what we did use was um, Northern Lights actually filmed. So they weren't generated computer wise, they're, they're actually what appears in the sky. Now, why they would appear in the sky, you know, we had a friend who's a uh, physics, um, you know, instructor at uh, Stanford, and we talk a lot about it. And he kept saying, hey, well, things are fine. Stay closer to the twilight zone than to, like, you know, science as it is, you know. So, um, you know, we're not making a documentary on how the world would end if it didn't, you know. Our films obviously have as much to do with other films or, you know, the genre of the disaster movie of, um, you know, The Last Thing on Earth is, is, you could say, is a genre in a way. When you write it, it's one um, thing in the imagination, but when you go apartment hunting in New York, <laughs> you know, please, you know, it's, 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 it can really be. But, um, you know, when we found it, it was, it was perfect, you know, then we had to get it. And then on top of that, though, was, um, who's picking the question? Spencer. Yeah, Spencer lived there. The, the guy who lived there, Spencer, was an actual painter who actually helped paint the, the um, you know, the Ouroboros that we did, that was the key. So, you know, it was just that kind of kismet, you know, that happened in this film. So that was it. Otherwise, we basically Lower East Side, Delancey Street, you know. And, um, you know, once you start getting centered on the apartment, even for me, I really didn't even want to really shoot anything that wouldn't be outside his window or outside, you know. We did a couple of shots that weren't really from his realistic point of view. But that was it. It's basically Lower East Side. You know, Manhattan, which over the course of my, you know, life, filmmaking life, has changed from, you know, a war zone to like a college campus. Yes, I don't know how else you describe it down there now, you know. But the rents don't change, they go up. <laughs>